Welcome back to the show and this is the time that we discuss matters business if you like the afternoon business chat and today we're talking about a matter that has been on the news in the recent past we're talking about digital migration and the business of TV now there was a deadline that came and went there is a group that went to court there is another idea of buying this set of boxes for your TV at home alternatively better still buy a TV that has this digital component inside all that is complex but I'm joined by Felix Chango to make sense of digital migration Felix Chengo is a general manager at go TV Felix there was a deadline people went to court we have a new deadline of December is that realistic uh, thanks for, for, for that question um, the deadline of uh, December 13th in my view is quite realistic mm -hmm. to start with um, you know that the analog switch off is a big change right and quite often uh, any change causes some bit of anxiety so some of the noises that we might have heard in the market are about that general anxiety. We know other countries across the world have managed to make the switch from analog to digital, and they have been able to, um, to do so and it's deal with any sort of teething problems that there may be. So in my view, the deadline of December um, 13 is realistic because, first of all, for analog, you need, to, I mean, for the switch off, to digital, you need to have the equipment, right. the network rollout. Right. Like in Nairobi, where the, um, the, the switch off will start, the network has been operating since uh, September uh, 2011, at least for Go TV. Right. Um, the other thing that you need is um, the decoders, which is the device which enables you now to be able to do the switch off. There is at the moment plenty of decoders at a very affordable price. Right. Um, Let me just jump in, Felix, when you talk about affordable price. It, um, the statement that came from the CCK head was that you, uh, or rather the stakeholders, have decided let's sit at, at December because people at that time are, are merrymaking and they may mm. afford a, a bit of this. But then there's the potential of locking out a lot of people in Nairobi who may not necessarily afford that. We haven't had a lot of discussion about proper government subsidy mm. uh, coming from that end. Yeah. Um, I'll talk in particular about Go TV right. because that is a pricing that I know and of, I know we have looked at it uh, quite a lot. Right. But also I'm not uh, sort of uh, unaware of the other prices in the market. So I think by and large for people who have been able to afford um, a television before, because like right now I think one of the cheapest uh, television sets in the market, which is Color TV, is probably in the region of about 8,000 shillings. Right. That is the, the, the cheapest. Now, for us, the decoder that we are offering for this uh, analog switch off is going for 4,500 shillings. And that decoder includes the decoder, that price includes the decoder, it includes an outdoor antenna, right. and it includes a one month uh, subscription for our top package, which is uh, the Go TV Plus. So at that price of 4,500, for anyone who is actually does not want to be blacked out. Right. There is an opportunity to save up so that by that time when the switch off happens, they are actually able to have and, and of enough. course, Felix, this is because as GoTV, you have an interest in this and most likely you will make money. But then again, uh, probably a question that is direct to where you sit is that we are seeing a shift in technology. GoTV, DSTV or multi-choice, as you know, it has been used to dishes and, and that kind of infrastructure. Are we going to see uh, uh, swiping out of that? Um, basically, um, multi choice, we can almost call it, is, uh, is really the true leader for digital television in Kenya. Right. Uh, through the DSTV, which means actually digital satellite television, we were the first to introduce um, digital television in Kenya. We introduced decoders way back in 1996. Now, when the opportunity came to migrate from analog to digital um, as a result of the ITO requirement to make the switch by 2015, Choice again came up with a decoder that is, um, uh, that is digital. And uh, basically what we are saying is that Choice through the DSTV brand are able to offer the satellite uh, package, which is probably targeted at the higher end of the market. And then through the Go TV, we have got an option that is now for everyone. And that's why we say Go TV is really a product for everyone. It's really targeted at making sure that everyone who has a TV right. does not lose out if the switch off happens. All right. Yeah. And of course, that was a, your chance for a free advertisement. But what you're talking about is that December 13th is the date that Nairobi is expected to migrate to digital migration. As and when you'll be ready, the, the directive has come from the CCK. I've been speaking to Felix Chengo, General Manager at Go TV, just bring us to speed with what is happening in regards to that kind of migration. Talk